Today, Bungie shared some new information about the exotic class items in the This Week in Destiny update, so we're going to jump right into that information now because we are less than a month away from the final shape and it's getting really, really close to actually getting hold of Prismatic and also those exotic class items as well. Okay, let's jump right in and Bungie said this morning we shared some amazing videos showcasing the Prismatic subclass coming with the final shape. And what I'll do is I'll play those videos in the background now so you can check them out for yourself. We've got one for the Warlock, one for the Hunter, and one for the Titan. And Bungie continues saying, As you can see, you're not only going to have new aspects and fragments coming with Prismatic, but also we get to go further and expand your options with the new exotic class items. These are very special additions to Destiny 2, as each exotic class item will have two random exotic perks, from a selection of existing exotic armor perks, including some that belong to other classes other than yours. Okay, first of all, how to earn them. So the exotic class items are going to be part of a new activity that unlocks after the raid world first, and that is at the beginning of week two. So we don't want to spoil what the activity is all about or how to unlock it, but we can say it's farmable, and you'll get a guaranteed random roll each time you complete it. So Bungie teasing us there with a new activity after the Raid World first. So it sounds like the game world is going to change in some way and we're going to get an activity. So this isn't uncommon. We've seen this before. We had this after Witch Queen with that activity where you could also farm the exotic glaives. This isn't a new thing, but also it is very, very exciting. A new activity is always good in Destiny 2. Well, next up, we got how many exotic perks so similar to how Prismatic has a selection of abilities among all light and darkness classes, the exotic class item in the final shape will have a mix of exotic armor perks available for each class. So we included some fan favorites as well as some perks that have aligned with Prismatic abilities and aspects. And we also chose to put the perks in each column that would compound with each other, allowing for combinations that felt powerful and complementary, such as a Warlock Bond with the Spirit of Apotheosis and the Spirit of the Star Eater. Well, Prismatic is all about combining the effects that used to belong to specific subclasses, and we wanted to bring that into the design of the exotic class items too. So in many cases, we've adjusted the perks to work with a broad array of abilities. For example, Spirit of the Caliban on the Hunter cloak works with all-powered melees, not just Proximity Knife. Well, to keep things balanced, we've narrowed some of the perk effects to what we believe the spirit of the original exotic was. This allows the combination of the two of them not to be overwhelming, and it maintains a reason to run the original exotic armor. When a perk on the class item has the same effect as its original version, you should expect some tuning changes. For example, in the final shape, the original armamentarium and the sixth coyote will gain the ability to create orbs of light from your grenade and also dodge respectively. Okay, let's have a look at the perk combinations. First of all, we've got the Hunter Exotic Cloak. This is called Essentialism. So we've got the first column first and then the second column. So first column, the Spirit of the Assassin finishes and powered melee final blows grant invisibility. And Spirit of the Star Eater in the second column. And that is while your super energy is full, picking up an orb of power overcharges your super, granting it bonus damage. Then we've got Spirit of the Inmost Light, so using an ability empowers the other two abilities granting them improved energy regeneration. And that pairs with Spirit of the Syntheseps, improved melee damage when you are surrounded. So previously we only saw these on the Titan, so that is very, very interesting. Next up we've got the Spirit of Ophidian in the first column, so weapons ready very quickly. And Spirit of Verity. So weapon final blows with a damage type matching your grenade, grant a stacking grenade damage bonus. Next up in the first column, Spirit of the Dragon. So using your class ability reloads all weapons and increases weapon handling speeds. Then we've got Spirit of the Kiratine. So gain woven mail when you use your grenade. We've got Spirit of Galanor. Hits and final blows with your super will return super energy after it ends. And that pairs up with the Spirit of the Geo Falcon. Your Void Weapons gain volatile rounds after you emerge from being invisible. Well, that is going to be one of my favorite combinations there, the Spirit of Galanor and the Spirit of Geo Falcon. Very, very good. Next up, Spirit of the Foe Tracer. Damaging a powerful combatant or guardian with an ability grants you a temporary bonus damage for weapons, matching that ability's element. That pairs with Spirit of the Liar. So dealing damage with a powered melee or being hit by a melee attack will allow you to follow up immediately 
with an extremely powerful melee counterpunch. So that one was always a fan favourite with Hunters, and it's going to be interesting to see how it pairs with the Spirit of the Foe Tracer. Next up we've got Spirit of Caliban, so powered melee funnel blows trigger an ignition, and that pairs with Spirit of the Worm Husk, so dodging gives a small health and shield bump. And we've got Spirit of Renewal, so allies inside the dust field tech reduce damage and targets inside the area deal reduce damage. And that one pairs with the Spirit of the Coyote, and then you gain an additional class ability charge. Well personally, I don't really play Hunter too much, so I'm not too familiar with these abilities, but let me know, Hunters, down in the comments what you think about all these and these combinations. Would love to hear what you think. Well next up we've got Titans, the exotic mark here is Stoicism. So first one, the first column, we've got the Spirit of the Assassin. So finishes and powered melee final blows grant invisibility. That is paired in the second column with Spirit of the Star Eater. So while your super energy is full, picking up an orb of power overcharges your super, granting it bonus damage. Next up, we've got Spirit of Inmost Light. So using an ability empowers the other two abilities, granting them improved energy regeneration. And that is paired once again with Spirit of Syntheseps. And that is improved melee damage when you are surrounded. We've also got Spirit of Ophidian, so weapons ready very quickly, and Spirit of Verity. As we've seen before, weapon final blows with a damage type matching your grenade grant a stacking grenade damage bonus. Well, next up we've got a new one, Spirit of Severance. Powered melee or finish your final blows unleash a damaging explosion. And that pairs up with Spirit of Contact, so damaging a target with the powered melee causes all nearby enemies to suffer lightning strikes and to become jolted. And that is definitely going to build into the fantasy of Titans punching everything. Well, next up we've got Spirit of Hoarfrost, so your barricade becomes a wall of stasis crystals that slows nearby targets when created, and that is paired with Spirit of Scars. Final blows with the weapons that have a damage type matching your super's element to create a burst of healing all around you that grants allies restoration. Then we've got Spirit of the Eternal Warrior, so gain a damage bonus for weapons matching your super's element when your super ends. That is paired up with Spirit of the Horn. Your barricade unleashes a blast of solar energy that scorches targets. We've got Spirit of the Abiant, so improves Drenger's Lash, and Drenger's Lash projectiles trap more targets more aggressively and travel further. And that is paired up with Spirit of Alpha Loopy, so it generates a healing pulse when barricade is activated. Finally, then we've got Spirit of the Bear, so move faster when guarding with the Unbreakable Shield and damage blocked with Unbreakable is converted to Super Energy. Then finally, that is paired with Spirit of the Armamentarium and gain an additional grenade charge. Well, just having a quick look there, I reckon Spirit of the Hoarfrost and Spirit of Scars looks very, very good. Also, Inmost Light and Syntheseps, that looks like a very, very deadly combination for the Titans. Next up, we've got the Warlock Bond. So this one is Solipism. So in the first column, first of all, Spirit of the Assassin, this is much like the previous two, so finishes and power of melee final blows grant invisibility. That is paired up with Spirit of Star Eater, as before. Next up, we've got Spirit of Inmost Light, and that is paired once again with Spirit of Syntheseps. And then we've got Spirit of the Ophidian, that is paired with Spirit of Verity. Well, next up, we've got Spirit of Ophidian paired with Spirit of Verity again. And then we've got a new one, so Spirit of the Stag. Your Rift provides damage reduction to allied guardians standing in it, and that is paired with Spirit of Vesper. So Rifts periodically release Arc Shockwaves. Next up, Spirit of the Filaments. So casting an Empowering Rift will grant you Devour. Well, that one, you have my attention. That is paired up with Spirit of Harmony. So final blows with weapons that have a damage type matching your Super's element grant you Super Energy. So that one is going to be a good pairing for me. Then Spirit of the Necrotic. So this is where it gets interesting. Damaging combats with your melee poisons them. Defeating a poison enemy spreads the condition. And that is paired with Spirit of Starfire. So grenades recharge from empowered weapon damage with the empowered weapon final blows, granting more energy. So that's going to be a very, very interesting combination. Next up, we've got Spirit of Osmiomancy. So your grenades recharge quicker on hits and the Seeker spawn from Cold Snap grenades travels further. And that is paired up with Spirit of the Swarm. So destroying a tangle spawns Threadlings. So that is going to be a really nice strand stasis combination i do like the look of that one as well then we've got spirit of apotheosis that is temporarily gain increased melee and grenade regen after your super ends and that is paired up with spirit of the claw gain an additional melee charge so i think with a quick scan and a first read of these spirit of osmiomancy and spirit of the swarm great combination 
Necrotic and Starfire, that looks very, very good. Also Stag and Vesper, and Ophidian and Verity as well. So loads of really, really fantastic combinations. Bungie go on to say, all of these exotic class item perks will only work when you have the Prismatic subclass equipped. We knew we couldn't fit everyone's favourite perks into these without making the pools available too large. It was a balancing act to support lots of exciting options, while also making it reasonable to chase specific combinations. However, we are also making a set of exotic armour balance adjustments with the launch of the final shape, including some buffs that are going to impact the original armour and also its spirit version, so some of the class item perk combinations might end up being better than you expect. You know, we've got more to share about exotic armour balancing in general in the coming weeks. And Bungie close out the update by saying, we hope the amazing combinations that the new exotic class items allow when using Prismatic have ignited your imagination and you're already wondering what builds work best with them when the final shape arrives. Well, let us know and please share your early build ideas with us. Well, that is about it for the update today. That is very, very exciting stuff. More information than ever before about the exotic class items. And I really want to know what you are looking forward to with these exotic class items. What combinations are you looking forward to? What class do you play? We'd love to hear what you think and we'd love to hear about your builds. Let me know down in the comments. That'd be really, really good to hear from you. So we are not far away from the final shape right now and the hype train has left the station. So I hope you are excited. I'm very excited. I can't wait for the final shape. But, but that is it for this update today with a look at the exotic class items in Destiny 2 for the final shape. As always, thank you so much for watching or listening. Don't forget you can hit that subscribe button down below for even more Destiny 2 content here on Endgame Express. You can also hit that like and that share button too. That would really, really help me out here on the channel. Well, thanks again and I will see you very soon. Well, thank you for watching that video. And today I'd like to talk about Endgame Express Backstage, the home of exclusive content for fans of Endgame Express. To join, simply join up through Patreon or the YouTube membership. You get early access and exclusive content, shout outs in the videos, access to live streams, plus also access to our exclusive Endgame Express Backstage Community Discord. Well, here's some more information about the tiers. So in tier one, that is $2.99 a month, you get access to our community Discord and also early access to content. In tier two, that is $4.99 and you get shout outs in the credits of videos and also you get access to community polls and help shape the content. For tier three, that is $8.99 and you'll get access to exclusive community videos and also get access to exclusive live streams as well. Well, the core content on Endgame Express is always going to be free, but if you want to go above and beyond and support Endgame Express, then all you need to do is get access to Endgame Express backstage today through Patreon or YouTube membership. You know, Endgame Express is a one-man band right now, but I would love to expand into more games, podcasts, more channels, but to do that, I'm going to need your help to make this sustainable and in return, I offer you some exclusive benefits and backstage only content. Well, if you enjoy Endgame Express, then consider Endgame Express backstage today. You can hit that membership button right down below, or you can find us on the Patreon links and you'll find those links in the description. Well, thank you for listening and thank you once again for watching and I'll see you very soon.